And then we kind of met more people who had low vision or were blind. It's such a strong community of amazing people that just needed to be shared and out there for other people who were the same as us and didn't have that opportunity. Whatever struggle you are going through right now and that you think it is like the worst time of your life, your lowest point, I had one of those recently, and that it will get better and you will get through it. And even though everything seems to be absolutely terrible, there is going to be a brighter side. There is going to be a better day. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and today we're going to do another video in the interview series and today I have two very special young ladies um, as guests on the show and it's um, Miss Emily and Hannah and they are from the Instagram, Facebook and YouTube channel called True Faces. That's T-R-U-F-A-C-E-S. And so all right, um, let's start with you, Emily. Go ahead and introduce yourself, and then Hannah, you can go after Emily. So, hi guys, my name is Emily. Um, I am 17, and I am legally blind. Uh, I was born with a genetic condition called cone dystrophy, as well as um, spasmus newtons, which is a form of nystagmus that you kind of grow out of. Um, and I'm extremely lens sensitive, so when you see me squinting, that's what's happening. And otherwise, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> All right, thanks, Emily. So go ahead, Hannah. Why don't you introduce yourself? So I am Hannah. I have I am single sidedly deaf and single sidedly blind on my right side. Part of my diagnosis, which is Golden Heart Syndrome, which also causes me to have some facial differences, including a uh, cleft nose. Um, and yeah, I think that sums up me. She's far more exciting than I am. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you together is so much yeah. fun. <laughs> All right, so the first question I have for you guys is since you guys are both in high school, is that right? Yep. Yeah. How is it going through school um, being visually impaired? So I'll start because I've had a few more years of high school under my belt. Um, I think that we are very lucky to have a really amazing support system in our school. Our school has like 1,200 kids and we have uh, this place called the Personal Learning Center, which has basically all the special education teachers in it. So we both have um, one uh, special education teacher within the school that helps us. Like, so she helps with everybody in the school. And then we also have uh, specific teachers. So I have a vision itinerant teacher who works specifically with my, my visual needs and then floats around like the school board. And then I know Hannah, you have a hearing itinerant teacher kind of thing. So it focuses more on just Hannah and her needs with regarding being hard of hearing. Um, and those people have been so absolutely incredible and with making sure that we have all of our accommodations such as we both use like large print paper with um, kind of a, it's a darker colored paper so it has higher contrast, so large print and um, getting things sent to us and getting our teachers set up with us each semester. You definitely summed it up just kind of noting that, you know, teachers aren't always prepared and everything and sometimes it's kind of just like run along with it because teachers forget because you know we're all human and it's kind of uh, you just have to take it day by day and how do you deal with the other kids in the school that you know are not blind or don't have um a hearing impairment i haven't had too much trouble with like other kids I'd say like I am very lucky to have never been bullied or anything and I don't usually have problems with it it's kind of just like I focus on myself and I don't really mind I guess to the other people that are around me I kind of just and I think for as far as me like I know sometimes you might get the odd person who like looks and like you know, mm -hmm. that's kind of human nature to like want to look at the thing that looks not normal. Um, and then as far as me, I wear sunglasses around the school. So that often gets a few misinterpretations because, you know, when you're in high school, there's people who 
do maybe not so great things and then try to hide it with sunglasses. So I really <laughs> heard people make comments about that. And, you know, <gasps> a lot of them I kind of laugh off and, you know, it's some of it's part of like uneducation. Um, so, you know. <laughs> So I just admire the two of you for being so young and starting what you have on Instagram, especially. Could you tell um, everybody about what you're doing on Instagram and kind of what's behind True Faces? What started it? So we started about six months ago and our very first platform was Instagram and then we grew to YouTube. Um, our YouTube is specifically like it's Hannah and I and we talk about like education regarding like disability and kind of do fun things like that. But then our Instagram is about everybody else. So yeah, there's some stuff about us on there, but it's a lot of it is um, we take other people out in the community who have disabilities and we do things called features. And so basically they send us some photos and then a caption about themselves. And we share that with our followers um, to kind of create that community of sharing and um, people who feel supported. I know I've had plenty of people reach out to us and say, thank you for doing this. I just met somebody new who has the same condition as me. And I never knew anybody who had the same condition as me. And it kind of creates that connections like that. <laughs> This is amazing. I just love what you guys are doing. I just, I see you guys all over my Instagram feed. It's just, that's what we really need, you know? We need yeah. to educate society because educate. there's a lot of misinformation or just yeah. ignorance. Cause and they, I think community is a huge thing because I know from experience, like growing up, there is nobody else visually impaired in our kind of town city area except for ironically my sister like literally two in a million over here um just happened to find each other and like there's nobody else in our community never grew up knowing anybody who was hardly even disabled besides the one sitting next to me and then we kind of met more people who had low vision or were blind and it just created it's such a strong community of amazing people that just needed to be shared and out there for other people who were the same as us and didn't have that opportunity. Yeah, that is awesome. So what is some kind of challenge or problem that you guys have been able to overcome? As far as we were talking about school earlier, I think a big challenge was schools is supply teachers because you start off the semester with one teacher and you tell them absolutely everything about yourself everything that you need all that and then you get a day where all of a sudden it's a different teacher you get a supply teacher and a lot of the times they don't know and i just recently had a supply teacher tell me that i wasn't actually blind so <laughs> that, that was fun i was like all right she must be like an optometrist or something i don't know but um, so there's definitely those struggles of just like people kind of not knowing or thinking that you're faking it. A struggle is definitely people thinking because um, there's that quote unquote, you don't look blind. So then there's that like, well, what does that mean? Sort exactly. of struggle of what is, is like, what does looking blind mean? Exactly. What is a blind person supposed what, to look like? What are you like? supposed to look like? <laughs> I, act, I even had someone who's like, can I see your eyes being like kind oh of gosh. thinking that they were going to look funny or something. So I kind of I did it to prove her wrong to be like, well, they look pretty normal. Yeah, um, I now now that I've had time to think about it, I can definitely say as an everyday struggle related to my hearing is that I I've definitely had many times throughout each day where it's hard to follow along with some of the conversation because like um people you know people speak in different tones and sometimes they don't always speak the clearest and it can often be hard to hear things and follow along in conversations and I know that that's sometimes a point where if you're in like a group setting and like people are like talking and stuff if you like if you didn't hear one thing they completely get lost in the conversation and I know that that can definitely sometimes lead to a confusing few moments. 
Yeah, absolutely. I totally understand that. My, um, I don't know if you guys know, but my brother is actually totally deaf. And so I, oh. I know a little bit of... So you've got there. both ends of the spectrum yeah. too there. Yeah. What kind of encouragement can you give either someone your age that's going through vision loss or has been visually impaired all their life and you know just some encouragement for them or just for people who are visually impaired or hearing impaired in general yeah i think the best piece of advice is that um i think it's like a quote or something but the struggle you're in today leads to the success you'll have tomorrow and i think that is so true because whatever struggle you are going through right now and that you think it is like the worst time of your life your lowest point I had one of those recently and that it will get better and you will get through it and even though everything seems to be absolutely terrible there is going to be a brighter side there is going to be a better day and that you know, th there are people out there who are helping make the world more accessible and raising their voices. And even if you don't feel like you contribute to that, um, that it is happening and that there are people who le leave positive messages like this and you have something to say, so go. Yeah, um, just because like you mentioned quotes, I just thought of another quote that said like, um, there's somebody out there who'd love to have your bad days and I think that just kind of makes you think of like you should really be thankful for everything that you have because yeah there is someone out there who has it worse than you not to like compare pain yeah. or anything but, but like like it, there, there's always a worse situation that you could be in yeah absolutely and I think it's just something that we, we should try to be grateful, have gratitude for what we do yeah. have and not so much of what we don't or, or what we're struggling with and just be yeah. grateful for what's around us and what we are able to have. Sure. Well, is there any last words that you would like to share with the audience or anybody out there on YouTube? Ooh. Be your own advocate. <laughs> Even though there are people like us sticking up out there, um, always be sure that you are advocating for your needs. And like when you have that supply to you that walks into class and doesn't think you need these accommodations, be sure that you are you're sticking up for yourself and that um, you're telling them what your needs are. And yeah. Yeah. And besides from, you know, like, I don't know, like doing these like like self self advocating for yourself you can also like help someone else out if they because they might not have had such a great support system as we have so maybe you could always be that like shoulder to lean on if if somebody needs that those are really great advice <laughs> and really great words well, thank you so much, Emily and Hannah, for joining us. And thank you for what you're doing. Thanks for watching. And make sure to follow them on Instagram and YouTube and also Facebook as well. And thanks for everybody for watching. Don't forget to like this video down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos. Um, featuring other guests, and as well as um, just ways that you can live more accessible. If you want to see more videos in the interview series, you can click or tap right here. And if you want to subscribe to True Faces on YouTube, click and tap right here. Or to live accessible, click and tap right here. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.